Hey there guys, it's Charlotte and I'm back with a new video. Today I am sharing my November book haul with you. I have quite a lot of books again, so this month I have quite a few books, as you can see. So without further ado, let's get to it. We will start with actually the last book I got. It was released and arrived in my mailbox on the release date, so that was quite fantastic. And that is the collector's edition of A Darker Shade of Magic by B.E. Schwab. So this is a beauty because I fell in love with this first book um, just this year, a few months ago I read the first book and inside you have some artwork, so it's quite nice. Um, you also have extras, uh, interview with the author and such. So I'm really excited to get to read all the extra little bits in there and it's just a pretty new edition to the second book I got was also released this month, and that is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green, and I got my hands on a signed copy despite being outside of the US, so I'm very, very excited about that. I'm very much looking forward to reading uh, Turtles All the Way Down. I'm just keeping it for a moment when I can really dive into the book and enjoy it to the fullest, because I feel like John Green's books, if I read them in bits, then I won't enjoy it as much as if I plunge into it. Uh, like I did with a few of other books of his, so I'm very much looking forward to it. I've heard a lot of great things already, so <sighs> I'm trying. I'm I'm going to try to get through it this year. Then comes um, the next book, which is Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore. Um, the cover is just beautiful. This cover is actually a special Alcrate edition cover, so it's one of those books that covers that you can't get anywhere else and I'm in love with it. The book description sounds wonderful. I hadn't heard of it before I got in my L crate, but I'm very much looking forward to it. Oops, timer off. Then I have another special edition. Yes, we. I think I, yeah, I think I started with all the special editions. So I have The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman, and this is a special Waterstones edition, and look at it, just look at it. All the sparkles. So this is a one edition out of the 5000s release, which is signed by the author and numbered, and it's just gorgeous. Look at it. It's just, ugh. And it comes with a slipcase as well, and yeah, I think it's one of those beautiful books that you just have to have because of how nice it goes. So here you throw out the window the whole don't judge a book by its covers because I'm totally judging this one. The next and last book that is a special edition in this book haul, there are actually quite a lot, um, is Diana Gallaldon's Outlander. This is the 20th anniversary edition. It looks gorgeous. Um, it's a hardcover. It's fantastic. So I fell in love with the Outlander TV series and when I found out it was based on a book series, I decided I had to get them as soon as possible. And of course, when I set my eyes on this beautiful edition, I had to get it as well. And I found out that a few days ago they actually published the second book, uh, Dragonfly and Amber, in a special edition as well for 20th, 25th anniversary, so I had to get that one. But that's not it. I didn't just limit myself to that one book. I also got, got a whole box set of the first four books. So here we go. This is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, I've got to get reading and I'm really excited to, but I'm waiting to read the first three books. Um, while I wait for the fourth season to come out. So they're still running season three, and so I wait for the, I'm waiting for the break between season three and four to get started with the books. I actually lied. I have another special edition of another book. <laughs> ah, this is a special edition haul. Um, so I've gotten Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman, and this is a signed version of the book. So I've got a signed Neil Gaiman. Um, and there are illustrations, of course, by Chris Riddell, and this edition is the preferred author edition, so it's slightly different from the original one. Um, but yeah, so that's... I think I got this one from Barnes & Noble. So first time I ordered there, and it arrived in one piece to Europe. So, yes, I did that. I, I order from all over the world, apparently, to get special signed editions now, which I didn't used to do very much. I did that maybe once, and now I just do it. Books are my thing. Okay. 
The next book I have is Ian McEwan's On Chesil Beach and this is a book I haven't read yet and I heard about but I wasn't sure whether I would like it but since there's a movie coming out and one of my friends participates in the soundtrack of the movie I thought maybe I should read it because I want to see the movie um, so yeah that's that it's I think it's quite a modern classic he's a well-known author he wrote Atonement and I loved Atonement it's by the way the first movie the movie adaptation is the first movie to ever make me cry and I was sitting on the plane so that was a little embarrassing um, but yeah, so I'm looking forward to this one as well. I've also gotten the two books in the Monsters of Verity duology, and the first one is The Savage Song by V.E. Schwab, and then we have Our Dark Duet by V.E. Schwab. These are the UK editions of the book. I initially wanted to get the American hardcover versions, but let's see. If I fall in love with these books, as I believe I will, then I will get the hardcovers as well. Maybe. We'll see. You see the pile appearing here. Then I have a children's novel, well, a middle, middle grade book that looks very cute and that I know I would have loved as a kid. Well, based on the title anyway. It's The Dragon with a Chocolate Heart by Stephanie Burgess. So I thought it was just the cutest title ever and so I want to read it because it looks like fun and cute and maybe it'll be just one of those pick-me-up reads that I will need at some point in a reading slump. It's a children's book, but you know what? Who cares? It's an adult who wrote it, so there. Now we get to the last book in this pile, which I think is... No, I'm pretty sure this is the only book in this whole pile that I've already read, and it's Girl Online Going Solo by Zoe Sugg, aka Zoella. So why is this the only book I've read so far? Because I was in the reading slump and I happened to know that I get through these books um, fairly quickly and then, you know, I was in an outlander phase, I'm still kind of in it, and it's not really a spoiler but they go to Scotland and of course I was in the whole Scotland phase and I kind of still am and so that kind of was perfect for the moment to get out of my reading slump, so yeah. So this month I got 15 books. I didn't buy all of them, some of them I received, and that's still a lot of books, especially for one month of worth. It's like receiving a new book every other day in a month. That's crazy. Anyway, that just means I have to get reading more, and I've done some nice efforts in that sense. Um, despite adulting, having a job, everything, I am still managed to read a bit, not as much as I would like to, but I'm getting there. That's it for this book haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Have you read any of these books? Please let me know in the comments down below um, or let me know which book I should get to first out of all of these because a lot of them I really, really want to read before the end of the year, but I don't think that's possible. And yeah, so I look forward to hearing from you and to seeing you in my next video. Bye.